Hello Virgo. Now, do keep in mind, this is a general reading for a large number of people. So although when I pray and prepare, I ask that all of you receive at least one message, you may find that the message are not, messages just aren't resonating. That's okay. That just means they are not your messages. But you may find the messages in your moon or your rising sign resonate. So go on ahead and listen to those. Now, let me fix my mic. Okay, so what we have here is we have your current situation, your recent past, this will be the past one to two months. We have the future potential outcome, and then we have the angel's recommendations. Now, you have divine justice and clarity. So divine justice is Archangel Shamuel. And Shamuel means he who sees God. And it's a good reminder for us that there is in fact perfection in all things. And that um, reminds us also that perfect order does exist. Because sometimes when we're wronged, we feel like, you know, how could this happen? How could God allow this to happen? Not realizing that those things that happen and occur actually were part of our plan, part of the divine plan to help us grow and develop. So everything does in fact happen for a reason, even when things happen that hurt that it still serves a purpose, a divine purpose. And this is a card that also reminds us to take responsibility for, you know, our part in things. And it also reminds us to be honest with ourselves. Now, the next card is clarity. And we can become clear on things once we have a clear mind. Once we have released any of our fears, worries, expectations, assumptions, our, again, they're saying fears. You know, sometimes we'll stay, you know, maybe we're not seeing things clearly in a relationship. Maybe things are going poorly in a relationship. Maybe we have a, a partner that's lying to us, being deceptive. But we don't want to see that. We don't want to have the clarity with that because we fear being on our own. Maybe we fear about the finances. So we just keep ignoring it. So you have been in a relationship most of you. You have been in a relationship where you have been very frustrated and upset. You know, you've got this recent past one to two months. Surrender frustration. At the bottom it says frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach this situation more clearly. Now you notice how she's blocked. She's got this sword drawn up. Like, come any closer, I will cut you. <laughs> she's got this ankh on a very long staff in front of her, blocking her as well, blocking her heart, blocking entry. So you are very guarded with a partner of yours. It could be a spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, but it's someone that you are in a committed relationship with and you are not happy with them. You are very guarded with them. You are very upset with them. You have been extremely frustrated over the past one to four months, for some of you as long as six months. You have felt as though the relationship is just dead and over. There's a field of poppies that she's walking through. And you have been contemplating moving in a new direction, but you have a lot of concerns with regards to that. And you're trying to get clarity. You're trying to figure out, okay, well, what was the purpose? Is something going on? Is something not going on? Am I being overly sensitive? Uh, okay, big picture, you know, you know, what am I supposed to do, God? Where do I go from here? Do I free myself from this? Because also when we get clarity on things, we can be like, oh, that's where, what's really going on. And then we stay in the relationship and it's great and positive. Or we get the clarity and we're like, ooh, no, I'm gonna free myself from this because I deserve better than this. Now the part that's confusing, so I'm sure you're hearing my gaps of delays as I'm having this internal quiet conversation with the angels as to what in the world are you talking about? Because this is your, this is your future potential outcome, you know, if you take the angel's recommendations, but it's not a pretty card. And it is the seven of swords, but this is about the dangerous temptress. It's, you know, vanity, deception, lies, trickery, betrayal, cheating. You know, this woman, she's like kind of unbuttoning her jacket and she's like, hey. What are you doing over there with her? Come get some of this, boy. That's not a pretty card. <laughs> That's not what we want is the outcome. You're going to discover, if you are to do the recommendations from the angels, you will discover things that have um, not been shared with you. There has in fact been some deception. For some of you, I'm getting like addictions. So like for some of you, maybe only a few of you, where your partner has like sexual addictions, they're easily tempted and drawn to others. And again, it may be just a small number of you, but you felt something's wrong, something's going on, but there's, there's like a sexual addiction. 
for others of you, there's someone else. Now, for some of you, it doesn't necessarily have to be another person, you know, because deception could be, you know, maybe they're making you think everything is financially fine. And in the meantime, maybe they've spent your entire savings and now they're terrified and you don't know that. Maybe that's why they've been pulling away and not talking. But the angels are encouraging you. You've got nature. And at the bottom it says, sometimes all you need is to go outside, breathe the fresh air to remember who you are and where you want to be. Now this card's also about embracing the magic in life, releasing any of our negative thoughts, fears, worries, just allowing those things to fall away. They are encouraging you to embrace the magic again. And not just, not with this relationship, just embrace the magic in life again, having faith again. You're very guarded. You see, she's in this, this cloak. You're very guarded. You're very fearful. You're also very skittish. You are protected. You are being watched over. They want you to know that. They want you to trust that. And they also want you to contemplate, you know, is this relationship what you want? You've got this three of pentacles. And you see, he's painting this mural. This is like his dream woman. Like he's thinking, if this is what... Ooh, if I could get the dream, the dream boat, this is what she would be. So for you to think about what's the dream relationship? Is this the relationship that you want? Do you want to be in a relationship like this? Because this card is elevation, mastery, self-realization, creativity. So I'm encouraging you to take time to decide, is this a relationship you want to be in or not? You know, when you envision yourself in a relationship, is this the type of relationship you envision yourself in? And if not, what type of relationship do you want to be in? That's not to say somebody can't change. You know, I've seen a number of people do a complete 360, totally turn around and change. But they're encouraging you to think about what it is that you want? Is this working? Is this not working? And to not allow fears to block you. Because for some of you, maybe it is fear because like, oh my gosh, well, if I leave him or her, you know, we've got this house, we've got all these things shared, you know, I'm going to have to go put a deposit somewhere else. You know, how am I going to be able to financially take care of myself because we split the bills? Not allow fears to keep you stuck in a toxic relationship. Just to truly look at it, be like, okay, what is my dreamboat like? Does this person, are they the dreamboat? Maybe they just need a little rough sides polished down or not? Because for a lot of you, you felt that this is like dead, empty, but this is the time for you to not allow fears to hold you and keep you stuck, but for you to just look at, what do I want? What do I envision? How do I get here from, how do I get there from here? Because once you look at that, like you might do a D chart and you might realize, ooh, this is real bad now. Yeah, I don't want to be in this any longer. And then you have a conversation with them and then they come out with the truth. Okay, here's what's really going on. And for some of you, it will be completely over. Things will be done. Now, for some of you, it could be something that's smaller. Maybe they've got a gambling addiction and they blew 20 grand. And they come out with the truth of, hey, I'm not screwing around. I do love you, but I may have blown through about $20,000 because I have a gambling addiction. And if that's the only thing on the teacher that's negative, okay, well then great, you can get them some help. But your outcome is going to be, you are going to be receiving the truth about these lies, about the deception trickery. And you're going to be able to receive those because you're going to be open to seeing those things. Because up to this point, you have not been open to seeing those things out of fear, but the frustration has become so overwhelming. Now you're open. Now you're like, I don't care. Whatever it is, I want to know what it is. Because either this needs to be morphed into this dream boat relationship or I need to move forward. But you will get there because this is going to be your truth, your clarity, your releasing all those negative worries and fears so that you can be open to embracing the magic and no longer being closed off with love. Be it because you're working things out with this person or be it because someone new is going to come in. You don't want to be all blocked and guarded and ready to cut somebody. You want to be in a magical embrace, loving life, and you will get there. You just have of taking time to think and evaluate as to what it is that you want so you can receive that. So I do hope that that helps all of you. Wishing you a lot of love, joy, and blessings.